All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, and I want to start off um, reading a scripture, which is um, Exodus chapter 20. And um, let's see. In verse 12, it says, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thou days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his maid, his manservant, manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And then, and they, excuse me, and they said unto Moses, speak thou with us and we will hear. But let the Most High speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for the Most High is come to prove you, and that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. And the people stood afar off, and Moses drew near unto the thick darkness where the Most High was. And the Lord said unto Moses, Thus thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, Ye have seen that I have talked with you from heaven. Ye shall not make with me gods of silver, neither shall ye make unto you gods of gold. An altar of earth thou shalt make unto me, and shall sacrifice thereon thou burnt offerings, and the peace offerings, thou sheep and thou oxen, and in all pieces, in all places, excuse me, where I record my name, I will come unto thee and I will bless thee. All right, so you know, I read a little bit there, you know, um, but the point of this topic in this, this subject is um, uh, thou shalt not kill, all right, really means thou shalt not murder, all right. Which is Rashak. All right. Now it says to murder, slay, kill. Premeditated. As an avenger. Slayer. To murder, assassinate. To be killed. All right. So it's really murder. Thou shalt not murder. Now I brought all out, brought all that out because I saw this this morning. Um, headlining which says federal judge blocks Alabama's near total abortion ban all right and it says the law would have called for a sentence of 10 years to life in prison for the abortion provider with no exceptions for rape or incest and the state of Alabama you know basically is not with abortions and um, it's amazing how today, 2019, you had uh, individuals go out and protest for abortions. You know, it's like the government is stopping you from committing a great sin. But instead, the people, they want sin, you know, that which just proves that we're, we're living. All right. And uh, one sinful generation, man. Let me get uh, Amos chapter 9, verse 8. 
It says, um, Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. You know, in this place, America, what you call North America, is that sinful kingdom. And the Lord said he's going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. And it says, saving that he will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. And what that means is that the Lord is not going to destroy the elect. Because there is an election within the election. And what, that, what does that mean is that the elect is, well, let me say the chosen, in better words, the chosen is the Israelites from the Most High. Which, which consists of you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. All right, from the seed of your father. If your line go back to being from the seed of your father and your lineage, okay, from the seed of your father, then you're an Israelite, all right? And you are the chosen, which the Most High have chosen. But there's a chosen within the chosen, okay? Because not all of these people are gonna, gonna make it out of this God-forsaken sinful kingdom. Only the elect will. And that's who the Lord have chosen within the chosen, all right? So it says, for lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is shifted in the sheave, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. It says, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All right. So notice he said, all the sinners of my people, my people, talking to you Israelites. All right, so I'm pretty sure with this protest, it was a lot of Edomites probably. You know, you can see here the picture that they post. And um, you're going to have some Israelites among them. And the Lord is going to judge you severely. You know, we're, we're truly living in a Greek, uh, Roman, Greek, Roman, colonial society. Okay. And um, their traditions and the way that their manner, the, the way that they manner their, their selves is pushed upon the people here in the world all right these edomites swear that they have everything right you know when it comes to making decisions and what should be and what should not be you know the scriptures tell us that um we're two different manner of people all right jacob is a different manner of a person than esau is we're not the same we don't eat the same we don't look the same we don't act the same all right, we don't talk the same, we don't walk the same. You Jakes are not Edomites. Okay? So when you when you, you know, take up their philosophy and their religions, which is Christianity, you know, you sin against your power, which your power is above them. These heathens, which which Edris said, Edris said to the Lord, has ever been recruited as nothing to the Lord. Or oh, what is that? Is that Isaiah? Salakia, but as the scripture says, these heathens which been imprudent as nothing to the Lord has begun to be lords over us. That's Edris. Okay. Edris was saying that to the Lord in second Edris, the sixth chapter. All right. And um, they begin to be lords over us. And now our people have become degenerates and taken up their customs and their traditions and believe so heartily that their way is the right way. All right. Let me get um another quick preset. Just want to get another quick preset. Isaiah 13. You don't want to be um a part of them, man. You don't want to be a part of them. You don't want to be an Edomite, man. And you don't want to take up their customs and ways. The Lord said, uh, this is not our rest. Alright. Um He said, This land sh it shall uh, pollute you, it shall lead you to what? A sore destruction. All right, so let, let me uh, read here. This is Isaiah chapter 13 and um, verse 6. It says, How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. All right, the day of the Lord is near. All right, the day of the Lord is near. Yahweh Shai, the, uh, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, you know, which his name is Yahweh Shai, which is a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah, a so-called Negro, all right, is on his way back. So it says, how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the almighty. And if you don't 
uh, you can't see that the Lord is near and that this place is almost on its way out, then that sucks for you straight up because you just don't know prophecy and you're not watching and nor do you really care. So verse seven, therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt and they shall be afraid. Pain and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth that shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Because who is the sinners? He's talking to the Israelites. All right. It was our people that was given the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. We're the only ones that can sin. These heathens, yeah, they committed great sin now because they basically, you know, challenged the most high. They, they changed the course of nature. All right. So Esau going to pay for what he's done to the Israelites. But you but this this, you know, this is to you Israelites. You're not supposed to be a uh, joint and, and uh, lead with with these heathens, man. That goes for Esau. That goes for uh, and lead with Ishmael, Ham. All right. Which are the Africans and, and all the rest of these heathens, man. So it says um, for the stars of heaven and the constellation thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened. Uh, and, and going, excuse me, the sun shall be darkened and is going forth and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Let me see if I can jump to this point. I wanted scripture. Chase roll. All right, 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. All right. So you Jakes, okay, you Israelites out there, you sleep two thirds. Most High is gonna bring great destruction upon your heads, man. And um, anyway, this is the the topic, the article: Federal Judge Blocks Alabama's Near Total Abortion Ban. All right, and um, just read a little bit. It says demonstrators gather in front of the Alabama state capitol to protest the state's abortion law, the Alabama Human Life Protection Act. All right. So these people were here to stop Alabama for actually banning abortions. And they was and, and you know, we, we you know, the spirit is, you know, draconian laws, real strict laws. Well, this is considered one of them because Alabama was going to take strict uh, uh, strict um, how can I say they was going to bring strict judgment all right upon any provider who participated in uh, aborting babies and they don't care as it says you see in the caption up top it says the law will have called for a sentence of 10 years to life in prison so 10 years off the rip if they find out that a doctor you know performed an abortion on a, on a woman. So it says for 10 years in life in prison for an abortion provider with no exceptions for rape or instance. So they don't care if a woman, so they don't care if a woman was raped or, or, or having incest or had incest, you know, and brought forth a child. All right. Um, a federal judge on Tuesday blocked Alabama's near total abortion ban that would have made it illegal for a doctor to perform or attempt an abortion during a stage of pregnancy. It says, uh, we just blocked Alabama's abortion ban. The American Citizen Liberty Union said in a tweet with the federal court ruling, it's official. None of the state abortion bans passed earlier this year are in effect. Abortions remain legal in all 50 states. You know, and this is just one wicked act, you know, that's against you. How about Shemir I was shot? There's reasons why you're not supposed to commit abortion because that's murder. All right. You don't know who the Lord is bringing through, bringing forth, you know, through that woman's womb, through that man's loins. All right. You know, you're basically stopping the Lord for uh, putting spirits back here in the earth, man, because a woman is supposed to have child. And yeah, there's different situations. There's some situations that fucking suck. You know, hey, a woman got raped and then all of a sudden she she hey, she got to have seed. She got pregnant. She got to bear that child. 
but that's the Lord's doing. You know, this this place is too carnal, man. And um, it's you know, Esau wants well, the people in this case of Alabama, you know, they want to be able to control life in their hands, as if the Most High didn't exist. And that's why I read um, Exodus 20, and I read it through. You know, when it showed the Most High came to Israel through Mo, well, showed itself to Israelite to the Israelites when Moses was on the scene. You know, so um. I want to go through a few precepts because if uh, you committed a, a, a this this uh, sin, which is abortion, you're a murderer, and that means that you know you got blood on your hands. If you, I'm talking to the Israelites, all right. You know, if you don't repent, <laughs> you know the Lord is going to judge you, man. The Lord is going to destroy you, all right. So I'm gonna read a few scriptures. Let me get the first one. This is uh. Revelations 22 and 15. It says, um, matter of fact, I start at 14. It says, blessed are they that do his commandments. So we understand what blessed is. You know, a lot of jakes run around here and say that they bless. But are you really blessed? You don't keep the commandments. So how are you blessed? Oh, you believe you blessed because you got some you got you got some riches. You got some carnal riches. You got a car. You got a house. You got a bad bitch. Well, yeah, you are blessed, blessed by Satan. But the scripture says, blessed are they that do his commandments. And that that's a cut on you. You uh, holy rolling grape juice drinker, uh, uh, so-called Christians in the government churches. All right. You run around here thinking, you know, what you, you know, walking around with your head up to the sky like like you're blessed and you're praying into a false God, which is Jesus Christ. OK, you're praying into Satan. And you believe you're blessed, you know, and and guess what? Them pe the, you guys in those churches, y'all don't keep the commandments. Y'all say that the laws of God is uh, done in a way with. All right. You, you, you believe Jesus, right? Jesus Christ came down and died for your sins so that now you can, you know, do whatever it is that you like. Anyway, it says, blessed are they that do his commandments that they might have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city because that tree of life is what salvation the tree of life is the kingdom man and the kingdom is going to be here on earth as it is in heaven as the prayer says and that means that the order and the, and the um the order which is in heaven okay is going to be here down on earth meaning there's going to be judges there's going to be righteousness reigning supreme over the world because in the heavens where the heavenly father rests is all righteousness all right there's no fighting there's no warring there's no cursing each other out you know talking shit and doing this to that doing that to her doing that to him whatever ain't none of that going on you're resting it's righteousness and that's how the lord is going to establish this on this earth all right so it says um verse 15 for without Let's, let me read that again verse 14 blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city for without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie so when you go and perform abortion a woman performing abortion you know you're you're a murderer man you know you're a murderer and 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 that's also too could be considered sorcery you know because that's demonic you know just look at the procedure and how the doctor does it you know some of these women be getting abortions at like six seven months when a whole baby is born inside of her you know, they have to clamp the baby neck or the head, crush the baby, kill the baby inside the woman, then pull it out. That shit is sauce. That shit is demonic as hell, man. You know, you're a murderer, man. OK, let me move on. Let me get um, first Corinthians. Matter of fact, nah, Galatians. 